I am Kaya Finn. Welcome to session two. Today we are doing a little bit of a stretch class vibe. It is more advanced, but I'll give you alternatives if you're not as flexible as what I am. Perfect. I'm using a mat today, but you can just use any space in your house or wherever you are. We're going to be on the floor, so just make sure it's a little bit padded or have a pillow underneath you. Okay, we're starting. Legs are hip width distance apart. To start, the knees are slightly bent, drawing up the belly button. We're going to hold our tummies quite tight throughout just to protect our backs and all our muscles. Nice inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, we roll down through the spine, all the way to the mat, letting the head hang. Rolling down. Once you get to the bottom, place your hands down on the mat and we walk into a nice dog stretch. So in this position, feel like you're pushing the floor away with your hands. The legs are extended. Nice pushing through the chest towards the ground. From there, starting in your mid spine, we are gonna round the back all the way into the lower spine, pushing the hips forward, curling the back into a nice push up position. From there, the knees lower to touch the ground and we push back the bum. You can adjust your hands if you need to, to stretch into the back, really pulling the hands forward. And again, rounding the spine, bringing it forward, keeping those toes tucked in. Keep rounding the spine, just like we did in the dog stretch, to push the hips forward into a nice spinal extension. And then from there, using the glutes to pull you up, we lift back into a down dog, moving through the spine. We're gonna repeat this flow, surrounding the spine from the down dog, hold the tummy nice and strong to go into a plank. From there, the knees drop and we push back into rest position, really stretching the hands forward to get that stretch in the shoulders. Then we push through the spine, rounding it to extend. And we go back into a down dog. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, round. Into a plank. Push it back, bringing the knees down. To round the spine. And bring it forward. And again, down dog. Two more times, rounding the spine. And bending the knees to bring it back. To round the spine again. Pushing the hips through to the front. Back into a down dog. Last time, around the spine, into a plank to bend the knees, push it back, extending the spine. In this position, you can release your toes and then we just push back into rest position, just to relax the spine a little bit. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can lift the bum and push the chest down towards the mat. From there, we roll it up onto the knee. 
Okay, now we're gonna move on to legs. Now that the spines are nice and released. The one leg comes forward. Make sure you can see your toe over your knee. Keeping the hips squared, we push forward to give it a nice stretch over the bottom leg, out of the hip. From there, placing the hand, the opposite hand and the front leg on the mat. The other hand is on the knee. We're gonna tuck our toes in at the back to lift that stretch. And from there, just slowly rotating the foot to the side. And then we rotate it back. And again to the side. And back. So we're trying to open those hips. Let's do three more. Rotate. And bring it back. Two, and last one, hold it there to feel the stretch into the hip. If you want a deeper stretch, you can place the hand on the knee or even use the elbow to push the knee open a little bit. Hold it there for a few seconds. And we slowly move to the other side. Again, let's just hold that stretch for a little bit before we start rotating. And then, just like we did before, we are gonna rotate onto that opposite foot. And rotate back. And five. Rotate it back. Let's do four. And back. Three. Back. Two. And back. Last one. To bring it back, placing both hands on the mat, just back into a down dog. Walk both legs forward to sit down on the mat or the ground, bringing both legs in to open in a nice butterfly stretch. Holding this position with the legs, we're gonna cross the arms over the opposite leg, just to stretch out the back a little bit more. And the other side. Bring it back, close the knees, and we are finished. I hope you enjoyed that quick little full body stretch. See you next time.
Jacaranda FM.